Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome once again to our Novena Devotion. Let's begin with this beautiful hymn, How Great Thou Art. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are grateful to God for the many blessings we have received from Him through the prayers of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us once more ask her to pray with us and for us. Petition set three. And our response is, Assist us, O loving Mother that I may have confidence and trust in my daily prayer. Assist us, O loving, loving Mother, that I may have courage and strength in my difficulties. Assist us, O loving Mother, when I feel hurt and revengeful. Assist us, O loving Mother, to return quickly to Christ when I have sinned. Assist us, O loving Mother, when a member of the family is ill. Assist us, O loving Mother, when we have problems with money. Assist us, O loving Mother, when we have misunderstandings with one another. Assist us, O loving Mother, guide our young people in living Christ's way of life. Assist us, O loving Mother, guide our leaders to govern justly and fairly for the common good. Assist us, O loving Mother, guide employers to treat their employees well. Assist us, O loving Mother, that we may cherish and protect the life of the unborn. Assist us, O loving Mother, guide us in our loving concern and understanding for the poor and the deprived. Assist us, O loving Mother, when we become complacent with no need for God or religion. Assist us, O loving Mother, may Pope Francis Receive courage and strength from the Holy Spirit. Assist us, O loving Mother. May those who have died share Christ's glory forever. Assist us, O loving Mother. Let us now pray for our own intentions and also for the prayers that people have asked us to pray for. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear our petitions and grant them to the prayers of Mary, our mother. Amen. Let me now share with you some letters of petition and thanksgiving. Dearest mother, Please help my daughter who is suffering from depression and loneliness. Many people have lost their jobs because of this pandemic. Please console them and help them not to lose faith. We pray for all healthcare workers that they may overcome all challenges in treating the afflicted and those with COVID-19 virus. 
I have an addiction. Please give me the grace to overcome it. Some Thanksgiving letters. Dearest Mother of Perpetual Help, Thank you for the abundant blessing you have given me and my family. Thank you for your guidance and protection for my loved ones and the job opportunity you have blessed us here in Singapore. Thank you for everything. I love you, your faithful daughter. Dear Mother Mary, thank you for your intercession. Even though for many times we fail to turn to you, my husband and I were married for about six years and we were contented with all that we had. But we were yearning for a child of our own and we felt lost when we faced some difficulties. Nevertheless, we knew that God was always with us every step along the way and we now are proud parents of a five-month-old baby girl. The successful pregnancy would not have been possible without God's blessings and your intercession. No amount of thanks can be expressed, and we thank our Lord Jesus and you, Mother Mary, from the bottom of our hearts, your loving Catholic daughter. Dearest Mother of Perpetual Help, I'm writing this Thanksgiving letter to thank you for answering my prayers. My father's CT scan result shows that the tumour in his stomach is getting smaller after three rounds of chemotherapy. It is indeed good news for my family as chemotherapy is effective in treating his tumour. Thank you very much for praying for us, your grateful children. Dearest Mother Mary, I came to Singapore last October with my family for a short holiday and to visit my brother. He brought me to Novena Church to pray as I was praying for guidance with regards to purchasing a house in Mumbai and you interceded for me and heard my prayers. Thank you, Mother Mary and Jesus for answering our prayers your loving children. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, thank you for healing me from the growth in my womb. I am very grateful for this miracle and I will always be an instrument of your love to my family and the people around me. From your Catholic daughter. Let us now continue our devotions with the prayer of confidence. Together. Mother of perpetual help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have so often sinned, but with your help, we can conquer, and you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me. Let me never lose my God. Amen. Let us now share with Mary a prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, his mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for, for giving us Mary to be our mother. She's so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding, so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Angels, Queen of Saints, Ave, Ave, Mother of the God who reigns, Ave, 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 Ave Maria, Grazia. There is one thing that's good that has come out of this pandemic. More people are praying. They have spent hours because they are at home and they have all the time in the world. And yet, some tell me, Father, why should we pray? Because God is in control of everything. He knows everything. We don't even need to ask. So, some people feel that it is of no use to pray. Let me share with you my thoughts when it comes to prayer and why it is important. My first exposure to prayer comes from my mother when I was very young. I used to watch her pray. And I was really amazed at her faith because she was praying to someone she could not see. But her fervent prayers, the way she prayed the rosary and even in church at the mouth, and I looked at her as if God was present right before her. Everyone that believes in God, whether they are Muslims or Hindus or Buddhists pray to a God they cannot see. 
And yet, they ask him so many things as if God was a banker. But for me, in my prayer, I constantly ask God, what is your will? Because when Jesus taught the apostles to pray, when he said, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, what is God's will for me every day? I cannot take this for granted. Even, I, even Jesus, I think, had this problem. When he struggled in prayer, and every important moment in his life, before his ministry, he was in the wilderness praying, asking for discernment. And he struggled because there were so many things in his mind that he had to pray for. Sometimes we can lose focus. And sometimes it is so hard to pray because we are all busy people. People rushing here and rushing there. Just go on the train and we can see how many people are so disconnected to one another. Disconnected to God. They are busy doing something else and being so engrossed. And sometimes we lose sight of our priorities. As priests and even religious, it's so important for us to be connected. Connected to a God that loves us. I have been on a few pilgrimages and I have seen the power of prayer by the very testimonies that people share with us. You have heard the letters of thanksgiving, the way God is so real when people fervently pray and leave it in the hands of the Lord. And in His time, their prayers are answered. There are many ways of praying. There is scripture and the word of God that helps us to pray. Some people need religious things. They need the cross. They touch an icon. They kiss the foot of the cross. They must have the rosary beads. They must gaze onto the icon of Mary for meditation and contemplation. And we have all kinds of devotions from the Stations of the Cross to the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Whatever it is, these are helpful things that draw us closer to God. And when people ask me, Father, why must we pray? I look at Jesus. If it worked for Jesus, if he prayed to the Father, we must do the same. Don't take your relationship with God for granted. If Jesus found time to pray, in this pandemic, we have all the time in the world to strengthen our spiritual life, to be connected once again and be reconciled with God and with the people that we love. In the Psalms, when God says, be still and know, when we are still, God will be able to speak to us. So I wish all of you in this pandemic, as even in Malaysia, the movement control order has been extended to another month. This will draw us closer to the God that we love. And God will use this to strengthen all of us in our faith. Let's take this journey together and walk with Jesus in faith.
Let's now pray for the sick together. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your suffering. And if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Together now, let us recite a very beautiful prayer for the pandemic. Mother of perpetual help, with great confidence we come before your holy picture to beseech your intercession. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. But your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with the coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect health care workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the changes of life. Amen. Let us now pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
You have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You live and reign forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Once again, I wish to thank you for joining in our webcast and we ask you to continue to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. We're going to do nine novenas because of this pandemic. And to all my Malaysian brothers and sisters, please observe the MCO. Seriously, social distancing is still applicable. As you know, the count of people infected by coronavirus is going slightly up in Malaysia. So we also pray for our Muslim brothers and sisters who have a difficult raya this year. I would like to end this devotion with a song that is not taken from the Novena books, but it is a very appropriate song, one of my favourite songs, Bridge Over Troubled Waters. you mm -hmm.
you small.